How to make the fluid transition. It's your time for real, it's time for real, it's time for real. Today's video is sponsored by my first subscriber, Irina Shake. Now, did I pronounce your name correctly? Irina. Irina. It's or Irina. Irina. Irina or Irina? Irina. Irina. Is it Russian? Yes. Add any fusion transition between your clips, right click on it and select Open in Fusion page. Delete the transition node and add a new dissolve node. Connect your second clip to the dissolve. Change the operation to alpha merge. Go to the effects library under the templates, edit, generators, and bring a contour node to your flow. Drag it to the left viewer so that you can see what you are doing. Connect the contour to the blue point of the dissolve node. Change the position of the start and the end point. Open the shape tab, tweak around the settings to your liking, and increase the movement rate. Open the color tab. Change the first color of the gradient and make it black. Now you need to animate the position of it. Right click in the position slider, and guess what? Select modify with anim curves. Go to the modifiers tab, set the curve to easing, and the in and out to sign. Make sure that you are in the first frame of your transition, and decrease the offset slider until the shape is completely out of the frame. Go in the last frame of the transition, and increase the scale slider until all of your image is covered with black. Now that you have your base animation, select the Dissolve node, and add a Merge node after it. Bring a Luma keyer in empty space, and connect the Contour node to the Luma. Drag the Luma keyer to the left viewer. Bring all the way down the high value. Now the only thing left is to connect the Luma node to the Merge as a foreground. If you want to change the color, select the Contour node, and change the color in the middle point of the gradient. One last thing, Ronaldo. I'm sorry that she left you for me, but I guess I'm cooler than you.